What is up everybody? It is your boy Laker Boy Waldo back at it again with another video. So news has came out that our boy Larry Nance is coming early. He has recovered quicker than expected from his hand injury and will be playing tomorrow night against the Clippers. Also rumor has it that he will be taking back his starting lineup but relegating Kyle Kuzma to the bench. Is that the right move? Should we be questioning what Luke Walton is doing and what are the pros and cons of doing this? We will talk about that in today's video. Let's get it. This boy has been balling out as a rookie, has consistently been our leading scorer, has been the scoring punch we've relied on for the most part, and has really constantly improved as a player. Had a shooting slump, shot his way out of it, which is very impressive as a rookie. Some people struggling to do that. And he's consistently been probably our best player. And by the end of the season, he could be the best rookie on this team, which he is at the moment. But Luke Walton has decided to move him back to the bench role in favor of Larry Nance. We'll talk about Luke first. I know he's been getting a lot of hate. He has made some questionable decisions like, for example, Kyle Kuzma a few games ago, he was four for four, shooting lights out in the first quarter and Luke Walton stuck to his hard set rotation and still subbed him out. The Lakers started, you know, going down and it became like a double digit game. We eventually ended up winning. I completely forgot what game it was. But we end eventually ended up winning, but at the time being, a lot of Laker fans, including myself, were questioning some of the decisions Luke Walton has made. However, we have to keep the same mentality we do with these young players, which is patience. Luke Walton isn't a perfect coach right now. As Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram and all these young guys are growing, we have to understand that Luke Walton is still adjusting to being a head coach in the NBA. It's only been, you know, a couple years and we have to give that much patience. So with that being said, Larry Nance going into the starting lineup, is that a bad decision? Should we really be pushing back Kuzma into a bench role. From the coaching staff's perspective and Luke Walton's perspective, I understand where they're coming from. Hypothetically, let's just say Larry Nance is in the second unit. That would be a second unit consisting of Julius Randle, Larry Nance, Corey Brewer, and then Neil Clarkson, whoever the fifth is. That is not good floor spacing. You only have one proper shooter on that team, on that unit, which is Jordan Clarkson. Everyone else is, you know, inside the paint. We are genuinely trying to win games, which it seems like that's the mentality that the team has right now is to make that eight seed playoff spot. Then we have to have a proper first unit and a proper second unit and they have to be cohesive and they both have to score. You know, the first unit can just score and the second unit just be, you know, just pure like defense and rebounding. There's no point. And with that being said, you know, this team, the expectations for this team are just kind of raising, you know, with people like LeVar and, you know, Laker fans really, really expecting us to be a playoff team we have to look at things more as how are we going to win this in this game because we can't lose stupid games like we did against the kings do i agree with that no i feel like we should be you know just focused on pro progressing our players but i understand the appeal to be eight seed and you know all that could do for free agency next year as well which will be another video that i will talk about soon so if you have if you have Larry Nance in that second unit, once again, is there's not gonna be much spacing and it's gonna be very congested. Clarkson's gonna be the only guy and you know they'll play up on him. Second unit won't mesh well. Uh, but putting him into the starting lineup, Larry Nance ha is that glue guy. As we've said before, he does what's expected from him. If Luke Walton went to him and said, yo, Larry, I need you to just rebound and, and run. That's all I need you to do. He would look at coach and say, bet, let's do it. And that's what he usually does. He does what's expected. He could hit the mid-range shot if needed. He could run with Lonzo. He could board. And he serves more as a defensive counterpunch to Brook Lopez. Brook Lopez being the offensive front court mate. Larry Nance being the defensive athletic rebounder. It's a good balance because you have to put Larry Nance somewhere, right? He's too good to not play. Allocating his minutes in the first unit makes more sense in the terms of, you know, team chemistry. And on the retrospect of that, putting Kuzma into, you know, the second unit, Clarkson has another shooter, that team can run, play defense, pretty lengthy, you know, Clarkson would be the shortest 6'5", everyone else would be, you know, pretty long. Um, that's a good offensive and defensive unit that can run and push the pace, even lift up the, sec the first unit if need be. So Kuzma being on that won't be the worst thing to happen. Also another fact, there's an overlying assumption that just because someone is starting, they will get more minutes than whoever's on the bench. I don't believe that's true. Kuzma, I feel like has proven enough to maintain his minutes. It would just 
he will just be starting in the second unit. We haven't seen Kuzma with those type of minutes in the second unit yet because right when Nance got hurt, Kuzma slided into the power forward spot and then you know he gradually increased his minutes and then he stuck there. But I still feel like Kuzma is going to get his. He's still going to get his 20 points and I feel like he might even have a better time because he won't have to share the ball as much. You know with Corey Brewer won't even expect to take a shot and Julius Randle you know does his thing in the paint. Clarkson, you know, brings up the ball. He'll have more more of a better time not sharing the ball with Brooke Lopez and KCP and Ingram. But that, it might actually be an interesting move. I say, why not at this point? We just lost to the Kings. Doesn't hurt to shake it up a little bit and we could play it by ear. The opposing side to that, which is the, the fan side and, you know, kind of my side too, is look, Kuzma in that spot has been playing great. And if you genuinely want Kuzma to improve and, you know, reach the potential that we all think he can reach, then he should be playing in that starting line. He should be playing against the best power forwards. He should be playing against, you know, like the Millsaps and the Blake Griffins and, you know, all those type of power forwards. And he should be, you know, using that experience. If you're in the second unit, sometimes you don't play against, you know, the starters. So using that footwork and stuff, it might be easier than it would be against the starting lineup. And he's proven that he could play on par with these guys. So I get that perspective as well. It is kind of frustrating to see him move down because it might kind of jolt his confidence a little bit and going down to the second unit. You want to see your players progress. And that's my biggest thing. I'm not even looking at the eighth seed. If we make the eighth seed, it's whatever, right? We're going to lose eventually. But I'd rather have Kuzma and Ball and all these rooks and, you know, young players reach their max potential before free agency because whatever happens at free agency we don't know like you know if we if we do sign a LeBron if we do sign a Paul George these these kids won't get as many minutes as they are that's why I really feel that Kuzma and all these other young players should get the most minutes the most opportunities they can before we things a little short anyways with that being said tomorrow we're playing the Clippers we're gonna see how it goes uh, that team is pretty hurt right now. Gallinari has glass bones. Pat Bev is out for the season. Tadosa is just hurt. So hopefully we take that W and go slowly up to that 8th seed again. Uh, but other than that, we'll check how that lineup goes. Let me know if you guys want me to do any other videos, any other topics. Other than that, man, it's your boy Laker Boy Waldo signing out.